She's only six years old. Her dream? To be a singing sensation. But here she is now, entertaining men in a sleazy Tokyo district. I am impressed to see that such a little girl has the courage to go on stage and perform in front of many people. It makes me want to support her. The child is an idol singer, something that's common in Japan. Some who say it's a form of fetish, idolizing young girls. But her mother remains unperturbed. It may be dangerous worrying for my daughter to do this. But I am doing everything I can think of to protect her so that she can perform without fear. Many of these kids dance in skimpy outfits. After their shows, they are approached by fans, including flirtatious ones. And they are tipped for autographs and photos, a harmless form of interaction in system fans. But others say there are ulterior motives. I know for some people who come to a concert like this, it is essentially the same thing as going to a hostess club. Rights groups have long said Japanese society's sometimes permissive view of sexualization of young girls puts minors at risk. Activists also say placing young girls in these environments may pose long-term problems. What are the repercussions for a child when she thinks that her body and her sexuality have a commercial value? That she loses her value when she comes of age and that the public only has eyes for her because she's a child. Japan's battle against pedophilia is well documented. The number of children abused in pornography has risen fivefold in the past decade. It was only in 2015 that possessing child pornography was banned in this country. The crucial problem is that there is a lack of legislative framework or awareness that the sexualization of children should not be tolerated. Japan has a problem of sexualizing children and these scenes are likely to go on, especially as there has been little public debate on the issue.